Today in St. Louis, focused on you. We're following some breaking news right now. We understand that there is a hostage situation happening at 4th and Market. Police are telling us there is a man with a gun holding a woman and children hostage inside the Drury Plaza Hotel downtown. And so Megan Kernan is joining us live with new information. And Megan, this has been going on now for probably a couple of hours. What are you seeing right now? Well, Michelle, we arrived here on scene at the Drury Plaza Hotel on 4th and Market Street about an hour ago. Now, we can confirm that this is a hostage situation. Let me step out of the shot real quick and take a look at the large police presence we have here. We can confirm that police say a male is armed with a gun locked inside a hotel room here with a female and children. Now, police say the male with the gun does have PTSD. You can see here on your screens that there's at least two or three dozen police cars here. The fire department is on scene. A SWAT unit is on scene. Just about 10 minutes ago, we did see a SWAT member carrying a protective shield in his hand and entered into the hotel. We do know that, know that there is also a bunch of police presence inside the hotel. Now, for everyone's safety, all the roads surrounding the hotel are blocked off. There is a large police presence, as you can see, in the area outside the hotel and police have asked people to avoid this area just for everybody's safety. Now this situation we do know that it came in as a domestic disturbance 911 call at 530 this morning. St. Louis police responded to the hotel around 610 AM and it's unclear how many children are with this man. We do we don't know anything about the woman that's with this man as well. There's a lot of action you know outside the hotel and we're trying to get some more answers for you. I did walk up to an officer just a couple minutes before you're talking to us and they weren't able to confirm anything else. You know, we did hear that there were people evacuated inside the restaurant, but they aren't able to confirm if anybody has been evacuated. We did ask if anybody's evacuated because you can see some people in the windows here. There are people inside the hotel still. They're looking out of the window right now, so it's unclear if anybody has has been evacuated or what floor this might have happened on. We're still working to find that out. And, you know, right now all they did say is that they're trying to keep the traffic at a minimum. So they can't stop people from walking to work here. We're in the downtown area. You can see the arch. Well, right now it's a bit foggy out, so you can't see the arch too clear right now, but we're downtown, so they can't stop people from walking to work, but they do want to ask people to avoid this area right now. So Megan, Megan, you said that uh, people in the restaurant were able to be evacuated, but we clearly saw some people in the windows there. So do we know if there is a plan to let those people go on their own will, or are they being forced to stay in the hotel room? Where are the people who were evacuated from the restaurant? Um, do we know anything about about the other mm -hmm. people involved in this mess. Exactly. That is what we are trying to figure out right now. So we were told earlier that the restaurant was evacuated, but we aren't able to confirm that yet right now. Police are not able to confirm that or answer that question. Now, I have been on here on the scene for an hour, and I have not seen anybody leave the hotel at all. So like I said, there are people inside the hotel still, so it's really unclear if anybody has been evacuated outside of here. Right now, we're just trying to figure out the situation, you know, as it goes, but we are still seeing people inside. We have not seen anybody leave. The only people that we've seen on the street besides, you know, the large police presence are people actually walking to work right now. They're trying to get around because all the roads are blocked off right now. So I'm wondering too, Megan, do we, what is that scene look like in person? Because are there negotiators on the scene? Are you hearing anything over a loudspeaker? Is there a sense of urgency to resolve this situation? You know, with the large police presence, it does seem to have that sense of urgency, but right now it's really quiet. It's calm. We don't hear any anybody over the loudspeakers. We haven't seen any negotiators. We're seeing, you know, SWAT members walking with a shield inside the hotel. We're seeing them, you know, kind of around outside of the hotel. We are seeing some of them inside of the hotel lobby. We could see a few of them, you know, it, through the windows, but we, it's unclear right now whether there are negotiators and, you know, 
uh, who else has been evacuated at this time. Right now, I, we just know that the people that are outside, they're working to make sure nobody is getting close enough to the hotel, right? They want people to stay away and keep away from the hotel right now. Sure. And just to reiterate, we don't know much about this uh, armed man potentially, right? Uh, we know that we got a call in at nine, uh, from 911 around 5.30 this morning, but we don't know if maybe he's related to this woman. We don't know how many kids are involved. Uh, can you clarify uh, what we do know about this person holding the people hostage? Yeah, that's exactly right. We don't know. We don't have an official word if they are related. If this man is related to this woman and children, we don't know how many children are in locked inside this room with this man. We do know that this call came in as a domestic disturbance at 530 this morning. We do know that this man, police are saying that this man that's locked inside the room has PTSD. He's armed with a gun right now. He's locked inside of a room with a woman and children. But again, and it's not clear how this woman is related to this man. And it's also not clear how many children are, you know, what their ages are at this point. Right, we are just uh, an active situation, a very um, uh, tense situation Definitely. as well uh, for people who might be coming downtown, uh, going to work and saying, what is going on? I do want to show you um, some video. Some of you have been able, you know, you're already at work and you're showing us um, what you're seeing from your vantage point. This is coming in from a man named Tim Williams. Tim works in the Deloitte building. He does not work for Deloitte. I should stress that. But this is a building just south of the Drury there. So that means that he's looking north on 4th and there is just a different vantage point of the, the scene there that you can see all the police presence uh, and just the vehicles surrounding that building. Of course, uh, one of the images that we saw that was um, interesting at this time was to see other people staying in the hotel looking out the window. So we know that there are still people inside that building as police are investigating, working with this armed person trying to release uh, the hostages that we know are um, are on that floor. So in the meantime, we're going to stay on this story. We want to get you back to the Today Show, but this is a story that is breaking and developing right now on KSDK.com and on air. Thank you.